Hitherto hath the Lord helped us. 1 Samuel 7 and 12. Oh my, I remember my great grandpa telling me the story about this church. He said in the 1890s, they worked in the cotton fields out in Wake County. They didn't make much, but it fed the family. There was no church in the community located between Lodge Number 3 and Route 7, Raleigh, North Carolina, on the falls of Noose Road near Millbrook, North Carolina. There was only a one-room log cabin schoolhouse, which also served as a meeting place for preaching, prayer meeting, and Sunday school. As the congregation grew and souls were saved, the people began to see the need for a church. Finally, a group came together in the year 1899 and organized a church and named it Wake Baptist Grove. Eventually, land was purchased. The name was then changed from Wake Baptist Grove to Wake Chapel Baptist Church. And they appointed Reverend John W. Jones as the first elected pastor. After Pastor Jones, J.A. Avery, L.B. Hockaday, W.B. Lewis, B.H. Kloss, R.B. Miles, A.L. Morgan, J.R. Fogg, G.A. Jones Jr., J.J. Wilkins II. Now we have our present pastor, Sharon Dean, the first female pastor of Wake Chapel Church. My family, through four generations, have been a part of Wake Chapel Church. Who would have known 124 years ago that Wake Chapel Church that started from a group of folks meeting in a one-room log cabin schoolhouse would be a mega church that's blessing people's lives for Christ all over the world today. Happy anniversary, Wake Chapel Church. <laughs>